Hey everyone, I'm back with another tutorial and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna edit this picture from Banff National Park. I shot this back in August and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my basic edit in Lightroom and then I'm gonna use a new program that just came out. It's called the Luminar from McFun. So I'm just gonna play around with it, experiment a little bit. I mean, I don't know much about it, so we'll see what what filters are there inside the program. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna change the white balance a bit, make it warmer. And I might increase my exposure a bit. And then I'm gonna come back down on my highlights. I'm gonna open up my shadows just a tiny bit. I'm gonna click Alt, drag the white, set my white point, and same thing for the black point. Okay, I might just go a bit less on the. So when I warm it up, I like what it does on the mountains, but I find when it's the way it was shot. Here, I was getting a bit more blue in the sky that I like. So I'm gonna warm it up to what I like. And then I'm gonna go with the gradient and I'm gonna make a gradient here. And I'm only gonna do the temperature to, just to blue. I just wanna bring back some of that blue sky, just a touch. I do that sometimes in some pictures because I like the mix of the blue and the orange and the you know the warmer colors all right i mean if it was a weird kind of atmosphere i mean you barely see the mountains but they're just like lightly etched so it's pretty different mood so i'm gonna see what i can do with this image i do a bit of vibrance a bit saturation gonna do my sharpening I'm gonna do it later click these guys okay that's good and see contrast maybe just a, a bit or you know what I'm gonna do it later okay so that's all I'm gonna do in Lightroom right now I'm gonna click Edit in Luminar. So I haven't really played around with the software much, so we'll see what we get out of it. I always work in Pro Photo RGB. I find you know you could do more with it, and then I convert it after when I'm done. So first thing I'm gonna do is when I first get the image here, you see you have these sliders here: temperature, tint, exposure. It kind of looks like Lightroom. So you can use this as a as a standalone kind of editing for your raw files, but I'd rather the stuff I did in Lightroom already, it's already done. So down here you have some filters that um, you can see you have basic, uh, you can just scroll through them. And if you click here, you can switch to dramatic, outdoor, now you can look through these and see if there's something that jumps at you, but me, I'm I really want don't want to use these. I just want to kind of go in and use the filters that they have. So I'm gonna make a new layer here, new adjustment layer, and here we have all the options that we that we get. This is everything, but if you go on here, you can pretty much they're categorized into categories. You have color, creative, tonal, tonal enhance, detail, utility. If I start with color, I'm gonna do a color contrast. What's nice about this is that you get this example of what it does. So if it's something that you like, maybe you say you use it. So I'm gonna click this color contrast here, and I'm just gonna drag the slider. So, and you can always check before and after by toggling this switch off. 
But I like what that's doing here on the mountains. And what's neat about this is that I don't want the sky to get that much boost. I want to keep the sky soft like that. So I'm just going to click the brush tool. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And wherever I paint, it's going to apply a mask. It's only going to apply to where I'm painting. So if I don't want it to touch the sky, I just want it to touch the mountains. You do that. And he's doing it at 50%. So if you want to do another pass to get the full effect, you can come back and do that. Here we go. So if I now click before and after, it's only affecting this part of the scene. Okay. I'm going to add one more adjustment layer. And I'm going to go to saturation and vibrance. I want to do a bit more saturation. Let's check before, after. Okay, it's just a tiny adjustment. Also, I'm going to add. You can keep adding filters under the same one here, too. You don't have to add a layer every time. A layer is good if you want to kind of mask it out, but if you know your. You're just going to stick to what you have, then you can work on the same layer. You don't have to do a lot of layers. So you can see they stack up here. So I added a polarizing filter and I'm just going to see what that does. Again, I'm just experimenting with some of the filters that I like. So I might just do a bit of polarization here. It's going to boost some of the colors here in the sky. If you say before, after. Maybe do a bit more. It's just a subtle, remove a bit of the haze and boost the color a bit. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one more filter. I'm gonna go here to creative and I'm gonna go to image radiance. Now I usually use that in Aurora HDR which also by McFun. But they have it here and I know what it does and I like the effect that it does. If you increase the amount a lot, see it makes it really kind of, I don't know, it gives it a radiance and misty look. So I don't want it all that much. I just want to come down a little bit and do that. Maybe like so. And then I want to come here with the brightness. Just increase the brightness of it. All right, and one more filter I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back here and do a curves adjustment. See what that does here. You can do this in Lightroom too, but I think I for forgot to do it. So I'll just see what it does here. I'm gonna make it a bit more contrasty, the image. Alright. I'll just come back here and do a bit more image radiance. And a lot of these I'm just kinda getting a feel for it and just pushing and pulling on these on these sliders and see what they do. I do a bit of smart smart colorize. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna add one more filter and I just see what they have. If I like it, I like it. If I don't like it, utility, you got a few options here, detail. I'm gonna do a detail enhancer. And this one you can do small, medium, and large details. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do a bit of the large and some of the medium, just a touch of the small. It's kind of like bringing out details in the, the sky and the mountains. Usually the large detail f affects, I think, the sky. So I'm only going to focus on the small and medium just to bring out detail in this part of the image. Not so much affect the sky. Okay. And one more thing I'm going to do. I want to make a gradient 
for the sky so I'm gonna add one more filter thing down here adjustable gradient the way the gradient works is that you have a bottom section if you scroll down you have if you scroll up you have a bottom section a top section so let's say if you want on the top section I want to lower the exposure see what that's doing I want to lower it too much just a bit okay if you come down here you have a blend I want to blend it and shift I'm just gonna lower the shift just to affect the top part of the sky that I want. I don't want it to go over the mountains. I want to keep keep that um, the same. I just want to affect the sky. If I can just always check before, after. I might just come back and just lower the exposure a bit. I don't want it to be crazy, I just want it to be a bit, just a tiny bit of gradient. All right. I am happy with that. One thing I might do also, just one last filter to finish this off. I mean, you can come in here and I suggest I'm gonna be doing the same. I'm gonna come in here and play with all these filters, just mix them and match them and see what they do. I'm gonna do an Orton effect and I'm just gonna see what that does. I wanna kinda make it look like, I mean, the the, the feeling with this image was, you know, I, there wasn't much light, there was a soft light coming from the side, so it's just, it's a bit more moody when I, when I get that soft look, the mountains kinda fading here. Like before, after. Maybe not so much. I might just lower the amount a bit, increase the brightness. Okay, nice. Happy with that. Okay, so right now I'm gonna click apply. It's gonna take it back into Lightroom. Okay guys, so now we're back in Lightroom. So this is the original file. I reset it to the original and this is the file we ended up with. I mean, it's a big difference and it's really nice what that did there, you know. We have before, after. So just, I'm gonna go into Photoshop just to do a last one last thing. I'm gonna open this image in Photoshop. All right, so this is the image that we have. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Tony Kuiper Action Panel and I'm gonna make a web file to share it online. So I'm gonna to go to actions, here web sharpening. I always do a small file like 960 horizontal, click okay. Alrighty, so now I got this file sharpened and ready for web and when you do that in, in Photoshop, it makes always makes a new file. So from here, I'm gonna convert it to to srgb because it, i'm still working pro photo so i'm gonna switch to srgb click ok and i can save this and share it online all right guys thanks for watching so if you like this video please watch my other videos or subscribe to my channel thanks